Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 340. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about spending, and I'm going to share with you how to stop spending unconsciously, because this is a personal story that actually happened to me. And I'm going to be a little vulnerable here and share with you something that really kind of surprised me because I didn't realize I was doing something. But I'm going to share what that is with you today in the hopes that it might make a difference for you. Well, recently I was shopping and trying on some different clothes and I bought a couple of velour sweatsuits. I like to wear sweatsuits around the house when it's comfy, and these were nice velour ones. I bought a black one and a gray one, and I looked at some other pieces. There were you know, other velour tops that could kind of mix and match with them, and I decided, no, I don't like any of those. Then recently after that, I was at the store, and the tops that I had seen that mix and match with the velour sweatsuits I just bought were on sale. So I picked out five different ones and decided to try them on, even though the week before I didn't like them. I already decided I didn't like them no matter what the price, but now that they were on sale, I was actually considering them. So I tried them on and I found myself convincing myself quietly in a conversation in my mind that these were such a good deal, I should just buy all five of them. And because I had literally had the thought the week, you know, a few days before that I didn't like these tops, I caught myself. How can I want to buy five things that just recently I consciously thought, do I want more? And I decided I didn't like any of them. But now that they're on sale, I literally was almost automatically just going to be like, done deal, buying five of these. (laughs) And it was crazy because I literally was convincing myself they were just such a good deal that I really should get them. And then I thought, wait a minute, I don't even like them. And I thought, do I want five of these in my drawer? How am I going to wear five of these? I mean, am I not going to wear the ones that I really like that I just bought because these ones that I don't like I have in my drawer? No, I'm not. I'm going to pick the ones to wear that I really like. And suddenly it made sense to me how you and I can get tags on clothes that hang in our closet that we never wear. Those things that we thought we liked, we thought they were a great deal, we thought they were a good thing to buy... And we bought them and they're hanging in our closet a year, two years later with tags on them that no one has ever worn. And I don't fortunately do that quite often, but I have done that. I have to admit, I have done that. There's probably something in my closet right now that's like that. But I just have to say, this really hit me between the eyes because it was an unconscious conversation that was going on about how much money I was saving and what a great deal they were and all of these things that are just not true. And this is how we get clutter and clothes that we don't wear because it's based on price. And if we really liked them, we'd be wearing them. They wouldn't end up with tags on in our closets. And that's how our closets get full of shoes and clothes that we collect. But the reality is you can only wear one top at a time. I can only wear one velour top or sweatsuit at a time. I can only wear one pair of shoes at a time. And so if we're in this collecting mode that we collect things, we're collecting clothes, we're collecting shoes, Think about this. If you collect shoes like many women are encouraged to do, and you have 30 pairs of shoes, and you wear 
one a day, it'll take you 30 days to get back to that original one. But that's not how it goes. You don't usually wear all 30. You wear a few pair all the time, you wear some occasionally, and you wear the rest never. Now, why is that? Well, you have some that you really liked and you bought because you really liked and they go with everything and they're comfortable. And then there's some that maybe you just bought because they were a good deal. They were on sale. And those are the ones that sit and you never wear. So our closets literally are becoming traps for money because there's a lot of things that we think we need to buy or we think we need to own in multiple or it's such a good deal, we're saving so much money, we need to buy this. But the reality is you can't get around to wearing all those pairs of shoes. I couldn't get around to wearing all of those different tops, nor would I want to because the reality is I didn't really like them. So even if I bought them and brought them home because they were a great deal, they would just sit in my closet or in my drawer because I really didn't like them. And when it came time to choose something to wear, I would choose something else. So this is craziness, how we are letting our closets just have money that sits there that we don't even wear. When people's retirement are going unfunded, when people are not having enough money to retire on or have enough, their accounts aren't large enough, or they're not funding their 401k or an IRA for retirement. Because in the short run, we're getting caught up in these schemes of saving so much money, or we need to have these things. So the next time that you're buying in multiples, ask yourself, do I really like these things? Do I want to wear these tomorrow? Because if you don't wanna wear it tomorrow, if you're not excited about wearing it tomorrow, then you don't really want it. And saving by spending is a real fallacy because if we're buying something we don't really want or need, then we're not saving, we're just wasting. The only real saving is putting money into an account where your net worth increases. So think about that, how can you Put money into an account where your net worth will increase because that's the true saving. It's not spending is saving. It can be, but only for things that we really use on a regular basis and for those things that we really need. Certainly groceries and household goods like that, we certainly can use savings. But when it comes to miscellaneous spending or elective spending, are we really spending on things we really want, or are we just making a decision because we think we're being a smart shopper and saving some money? Just something to make you think. I know it made me think a little bit more, and like I said, I was pretty surprised that I just caught myself with this idea that spending to buy these five things was going to be a real savings, when the reality was I really didn't even want them or need them, or like them, honestly. So I thought I would pass along my personal story to you. If you're a guy and you didn't think this applied to you so much, I'm sorry. Maybe it does apply more to the women, but I think it applies to the men too. We really need to think about what are we doing with our closets expanding like crazy and all of this excess clothing that we are putting in there that we can't even get it get around to wearing. It's kind of a national epidemic. So I thought I would do this podcast about it. Let me know your thoughts. Send me a tweet over at Linda P. Jones on Twitter and let me know what your thoughts are. I'd like to hear from you. If you're wanting to get your net worth moving in the right direction, get my 11 quick financial tips to boost your wealth. There are 11 quick things anyone can do to get your net worth growing in the right direction. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the podcast, please hit the subscribe button and tell all of your friends to subscribe too. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.